Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 2! Since last time, I stocked up on all the diamates and monomates that I needed for my party to go through the Biosystems Lab. And yeah, this is going to take a while to get through here, but we can make it. Uh, if you've missed the last episode, I used a stick of dynamite to break through the door to get in there. So, I think that's the only way you can get in here. So, let's take a look around. Any paths that I'm not taking are dead ends. Like, there's a chute in the upper right corner here. We don't care about that. Don't worry about the cracks in the floors. The infrastructure. You won't fall down them or anything like that. But we will run into new enemies. Like, weird tentacle mushrooms, I guess. So, okay, let's go with this then. Let's see, nothing too special about these guys. They do have a bit more HP than a lot of other enemies, but they're not that... Okay, maybe they are powerful, but not that powerful. Now, what I'm going to do for my healing as I'm going through the dungeon is I'm going to rely on Nay for her res spell. At first, I would try to avoid using Amy's tech points for healing early on, because once we get a couple levels for her, she'll learn Gyrez and or Gerez, however you want to pronounce it, and that'll restore 60, and it's much more efficient than the original spell. So let's heal you up at that one. Want to try and keep everyone above 40 HP, just like before, because we can run into blasters pretty much anywhere around here, really, and they can be pretty dangerous. Not quite as dangerous as before, though, because, well, we have better healing and HP. Well, there's one of them right now. Blaster on the left. So, let's see. Okay, let's go... Gafoy on the blaster. Hmm. I'm thinking if that's worthwhile. You know, I don't think that's worthwhile, actually, because now Nay has the attack power to either kill them or come really close to doing so. Okay, got it. But yeah, they have an attack that can hit your entire party for like 20 damage. Although, with Amy defending, that shouldn't be a problem for her still. She'll still be able to reduce some of that damage there. Fortunately, they're not all ganging up on her. Alright. Well, easy enough so far. Let's see, I know Nay needs some uh, healing. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, you need some healing. I'm not going to worry about Rudo right now, because I want to let him drop, like, 40 HP, so that way I can get as much value as possible out of my Dimates and Gerez spells. So let's see, Amy, yeah, you want to try and keep her at max at all times. Even though she's really not doing anything, she's just kind of sitting there. But she's a healing battery, essentially. Okay, and after that battle, gained a level for Rolf and Amy there, and let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, we got the, well, some spells that we've already gotten. Uh, Debon, that reduces magic-type damage, I think. Foy, she has, just like Rolf does. Uh, let's see, Anti, I think that's the Antidote spell, if I recall correctly. I almost never use it, though, because Poison is not that common in this game. It's not really anything to worry about until, like, the late game and stuff. And even then, it's not that important. But we should collect some treasure along the way. Ah, well, there we are. Well, maybe we'll hold on to that for later. Shoot to the right there. Doesn't lead anywhere I care about. So just pass on that for now. Uh-oh. Pin chance. Well, let's see what we can do with these guys. These guys have some uh, magic-type damage that they can deal to you. And they've got quite a bit of defense, more than anything else in the area. Well, almost anything else. So, well, May's still going to be pretty effective. Rudo, obviously, will be with it being able to bypass defense a bit. Now, I know what you're thinking here. H.C. Bailey, why don't you just load up Amy with uh, carbon emails and stick her up front like a tank? And you could do that if you wanted to, but I think that if she gets hit too much with magic damage, then a physical hit would probably still be able to finish her off, so I don't want to throw her up front there like that. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's heal up, Amy. I was thinking, do I really need it to, to? But nah. 
I'll wait until Rudo drops below 40 HP before I actually heal him. Alright, after that battle, gained a uh, level for Nave there. Doing pretty good. Let's see. Haha, -ha, this is what I was looking for. Ooh, yeah, you want to save that for way later in the game when we actually run into boss fights where they can damage everyone at once over and over again. That is one thing that's kind of weird about this game. There's giant penis monsters. Again! What is it with things like this in JRPGs? I don't know. But anyway, these guys uh, can do single targeted magic damage, but they're really not that strong, so I'm not extremely worried about them. But anyway, no, uh, what I was saying before was, one of the weird things about this game is that there, there's very few boss fights. There's like four in the whole game. So, yeah, you, you could just uh, feel free to go all out with your magic on regular enemies. Well, I mean, not all out, but you want to use it for healing because you got nothing better to really use it on. Okay, so we took quite a bit of damage there with Rudo. So, let's uh, get a dime mate going for him. Awesome. Well, almost 50 HP restored. Pretty good value we got out of there. I don't want to wait until he gets too low on HP. I don't want him to be able to get two shot by some blasters or something. Man, what's with all these octopi they're breeding? Man, this really looks like something out of Final Fantasy VII. Holy cow! It's too bad we can't save on the go as we're going through this dungeon. We're just gonna have to do it all in one shot, pretty much. I suppose you could back out of the dungeon after getting some of the treasure, but it's just such a long walk to get to anything around here. It's better to just do it in one go. And this dungeon isn't quite as hard as the previous two. And by the way, that reminds me, uh, you want to make sure you hold on to 12 tech points for Roth there. Let's see, how are we doing? We're doing alright there. But yeah, you want to have 12 so that way he can cast uh, Highness and Ryuka to get out of the dungeon and go back to town really quickly once we're done with our business here. We don't want to have to walk all the way out. Although, I will point out where the exit is when we get to that point. Yeah, I've had the pleasure of running out of tech points in the middle of the dungeon. Then have to barely scrape my way to get out of here. That's a weapon you could give to Amy, but it's not worthwhile. Yeah, anything Amy could do on offense could be done... Pretty much better than with anyone else in the game, really. Well, at least she's a meat shield for right now, pretty much. She's doing something. Better than having no one in that slot. Okay, uh, where am I? Oh, right, we're back on the first floor here. But the other side that we couldn't reach before just by walking here. Yeah, they kind of make us go up and down and up and down this place over and over again. They do that a lot in uh, various dungeons in the game. You think this dungeon is mazy? <laughs> Wait until we get later in the game. But anyway, we got another uh, frog-type enemy, Toter. And they can reduce your agility, but that's really nothing to worry about. There's otherwise nothing really special about them. So I wouldn't uh, pay too much attention to them. Just annihilate them whenever. Okay, and after that battle, we gained another level for Amy there. Level 6, she learns Gerez. So, yeah, use that whenever you've lost, like, 40 HP or so. And that should uh, keep you going for quite a while there. But otherwise, yeah, she's still just sitting there hanging out. If only there were an item that I could use to cast spells for me. So that way I wouldn't have to worry about attacking. But sadly, I do not. Oh, well. And we're back on the second floor in a part that we uh, couldn't get to before. Okay, now this part is going to split up a bit. So let's go over here. Now, remember this spot for later viewers, because I'm going to come back here off screen once I have checked out this dead end. But there is a treasure there that we need. Man, I can only imagine how ridiculous it can be to try and find stuff around here without a map. I mean, I know the game, when it originally came out, had some maps that came with it. But yeah, if you took a wrong path and you hit a dead end without a map, man, you're going to have to walk all the way back, and it's 
pretty difficult to survive that long without getting somewhere. But anyway, all right, Dino Max. So we got that. I'm going to meet you back where I said I was going to then. Nothing else around here. Okay, we're back. So let's take the other path that we can around here. Pretty much a straight shot to the end at this point. Just be careful, don't... Oh wait, no, we don't have pitfalls to worry about. I was thinking of a different floor of this place. Well, so far we're doing pretty good here as far as tech points and HP is concerned. Yeah, we haven't taken uh, too much of a beating yet. Been pretty lucky to not run into more blasters around here. Just a giant purple fog of doom! And they haven't even hit me with their magic attack yet. So, so far, so good. If I can get to the point where I use the dynamite without having to spend that much more, tech points will be in really good shape for the last floor of this place. How are people supposed to get around here, anyway? I don't know. I mean... They said there were, like, human workers who, like, worked with the biosystems lab and all that stuff before, right? I mean, did they just, like, use dynamite on a daily basis to open doors and find out how to get around here and then jump down, like, a hundred foot drop to get to work every day in the morning? I mean, wow. It's one hell of a wake-up call, but... Okay, so now we're on the bottom floor, which is where we can get the recorder. Uh, let's see, there's four corners to this part of the floor. If you are going to use all your tech points to get through here, the exit is in the lower left there. But I'm not going to. I'm going to save my tech points so I can just warp out of here when I'm done with the place. And we got these orange, red... Poison tiles, whatever. You take damage when you walk on them, so just walk around them when you can. I think it's just like one damage per step, so yeah, it's not that much to worry about. Probably not even worth getting many of these treasures, but well, I'm going to anyway for the sake of completion. So let's just get through that. Awesome. Let's see, to the left there? Yeah, that shoot, that takes you out of here eventually. That's the exit. Or it'll lead you to the exit very, very quickly. But I'm not going to do that. Uh-oh! Double blasters! And I'm not even at full HP for Rudo there. Oh boy, this this could be dangerous. Okay, let's go with that and pray. Come on. If I can get one of them before they can attack, that'll be good. Okay, we got one. Ow! All right! Phew! Oh, man. Even at this point, I mean, yeah, I'm faster than they are now, so that really helps a lot, but they're still really, really dangerous. Okay, so let's heal up Rudo there. And how's Nying doing? I'm probably just gonna use Garez on her, or a Dimate. You know, let's use a Dimate on her. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, and you see how Amy took relatively little damage in that battle? Because... Well, she was defending, so that really helps her out a lot. Okay, now, Garez costs seven tech points, if I recall correctly. And I think Rez only costs three. So, yeah, we've got enough for one more Garez spell. That's pretty good. And, Nay, you're out. So now we're going to have to start using Monomates. Yeah, usually it's about this point where I need to start using, using my consumable items. But that's okay. That's what they're there for. They are not too good to use. Very little is too good to use. Okay, so we have, like, the Trimates and the Star Mists that are too good to use, but not for long. They're too good to use right now, but later on, we'll be using them. Oh, crap. Oh... I don't know if there's a good way for me to survive this other than using my star mist. Uh, I feel so dirty doing this. But... Okay. You got me. Wow. Okay, come on, Rudo. Maybe I should have given it to someone faster than him, huh? Well, I got one. All right! Woohoo! 
Oh. Okay, um, yeah, I probably should have had Roth attack there instead. I was just so rattled by getting ambushed by two of them. Oh, hmm. Let's see, Rolf. Yeah, we're gonna need to start using those monomates. Well, keep using them. I've already started using them, but... Okay, let's move along, then. Uh, let's see, what's the best way of getting through here? Yeah, that'll do. And do I have to take three? Yes, I do. Well, I suppose I could have gone all the... No, I couldn't go around them, couldn't I? Well, Poison Chap, that's a weapon for Amy there, but I would never use it anyway. How are we doing on uh, HP with all that walking around there? Uh, let's see, Amy and Nay. Let's heal up Nay right now. And then after going through some of the... Some more of those damage tiles, then I'll heal up Amy. Could be a bit dangerous to wait that long, though. Okay, now we can get the full value from the Monomate. 20 HP restored. Awesome. That's gonna come down to the wire, folks. We can make it. We can make it. How can you have cracks in the floor of a basement? Oh, now I'm taking one more damage than I had to. Oh, well. I can get around this. Wow, these guys are kicking my ass around here. Well, I'm out of healing now. Healing magic, I mean. I still got some consumables. Used all my diamates and Garez spells. Well, at least I'm getting plenty of money fighting all these battles here, but... Maybe I might not be alive to spend it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's uh, heal Amy up. I don't want to risk her getting hit by blasters when they ambush me. Never again. Never again. Well, fortunately, the path to the upper right corner is through this way, too. So I don't have to do a lot of backtracking for this part. Let's grab that. Uh, stop walking around like a drunk. Hey, hey, all right. Not that I really need it, but it's there. I might need to use it. How's my tech points doing on Rolf? Okay, we're still good. We can still warp out of here at the very last second, even if I'm practically dead. Or almost dead. Mostly dead. Fortunately, mostly dead is slightly alive. Well, there goes the last of my consumable healing items. I mean, besides the Trimate. But that's uh, too good to use. I said that about the Star Mist, too. But, oh, well. Almost there. I can smell it. Well, okay, it looks like in the lower right there, that's where the recorder is. But we have to walk all the way around to get to it. If I can survive that long. Huh, have I met up with this guy? I don't think I have. Well, it's another one of those B-type enemies. Uh, let's see, these guys are the toughest enemies around here as far as stats go. But... Yeah, if there's just one of them, well, then it's not really a huge problem. Hmm. I got one monomate left. I'm think thinking if I want to use that on Amy or not. I probably should, because chances are this is probably the last battle I'm going to fight anyway. Oh. Okay, there it is. Come on. Yes! I made it! Okay, so now we got the recorder... Let's get out of here. Uh, Rolf, you can do the honors. Uh, let's see. That's the spell to get out of here. Awesome. And let's see. That's the spell to get back to town. Okay. How are we doing here? Well, technically I survived. I mean, I have no more healing items. And I'm out of magic. But other than that, we made it. Woohoo! But what information will we find on the recorder that'll tell us what's going on with all these bio monsters? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!